In this video, we are going to explore one of DB5's most exciting upgrades and that is relative colors and HSL. If you have ever struggled with hex codes or wished for an easier way to keep your design consistent, this feature is about to blow your mind. DB5's new color system is here to save your day and we are breaking it all down for you right now. So let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. If you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created an entire blog post that you will link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, make sure you check out our blog post. I am sure you will find it helpful. So what's the big deal with DB5's new color system? Now it's not just about picking colors anymore. It's about strategy and flexibility. We have supercharged it with three key improvements. Global, Relative and HSL. Let's unpack each one of them and see how they are going to transform your workflow. So first up is global colors and design variables. Now while designing a website, it's time to say goodbye to copy paste all these hex codes on your notepad because you don't need it anymore. With this new DB5 system, you set your brand color once in variable manager and they are ready to use anywhere. Need a quick tweak? Update it once in one place and it ripples across your entire site. It's a dream for prototyping and keeping your brand sharp, especially since business tweaks their colors every few years. And not just that, you can create an entire variety of color swatches by just adding one single color. Want a red 300 or red 700? Just set your base color, tweak it with relative colors and watch your palette comes to life. Next, let's talk about HSL. Hue, Saturation and Lightness. This is like having a pro level color mixing kit. Instead of eyeballing shades with hex codes, you get sliders to adjust the hue, that's the color itself, saturation for intensity and lightness for brightness. Now hue runs from 0 to 360 degree in a color wheel, so picking a complementary shade is easy as sliding to 180 degree. Saturation goes from 0% grey to 100% vivid and lightness shifts from 0% black to 100% white. It's precise, it's intuitive and it makes finding perfect shade a breeze. And now here's the star of the show, relative colors. This lets you build new color from one you have already selected. Start with your primary or base color and then tweak its HSL filter and create lighter or darker version instantly. You can even stack them, make primary color, a relative color based on that and another base on that first tweak. And then whenever you need to make any change, just change the base or the primary color and all the other colors updates too. It's like having a color family that stays sync no matter what you are designing. Now let's dive in into the DV Visual Builder and let me show you everything step by step. So here we are inside our DV5 Visual Builder. Now we already know that in order to create our global color variables, we need to go to variable manager here and here we can define our colors. So let me just open it a little bit. So we know that in order to create our primary color, we can enter the hex code here. And if in case you want to add any other global color, we simply give it a name and select the color from the color palette. But now here's the smart way. What if we just define one color as our primary one and then create the entire color palette based on that. So let me show you how it works. So here we have defined a primary color as this blue. So you can go ahead and paste any hex code depending upon your design. Now based on this color, we have defined all these color variables. So first let me just go ahead and remove this white and box shadow so that I can show you from the very beginning. So based on this primary color that is blue, we are going to add a new global color. Let's give it a name as white. Now we can go ahead and simply type in the color code for the white color or maybe we can select the white color from here like this and it will be done as global variable. But it won't be dependent on our primary color. So whenever we make any changes in our primary color, it won't affect this white color on our entire website. So in order to make this sync with our primary color, let's click on this white color here. And now we have a new control panel to select our color. Instead of selecting the color from this color picker, we can go ahead and select our global color from here. And if we click on this again, 
we now have a new option that is color filters. Let's click on this. And here we can define the hue, saturation and lightness of this primary color. So if we want to create a white color, all we need to do is just take this lightness to 100% and we will have our white color. Once that is done, just close this box and here we have our white color defined which is in sync with our primary color in the same way. If we add another global variable, let's say we want to add a box shadow. But we of course want this shadow to be dark color, but a little bit transparent. So in, again, we can click on this color palette and we can select our global color. And let's go back here. And this time again, we will select the color filters. We are going to change this percentage as 32%. And we also change this lightness to a little bit darker so that we can have a dark shadow like this. If you want the shadow of any other color, then we can play around with hue from this filter. But right now we will leave it as it is. Let's close this. Now we have our box shadow, which is in sync with our primary color. In the same way, we have defined our secondary color or maybe our accent color. So if I click on this, we have again selected our primary color, but in the color filter, we have played around with the hue to make it look a little bit yellow. Then we can play around with the saturation to make it a little bit highlighted. And we can play around with the lightness as well to make it look like this. And as soon as we change any value, you can see it's getting updated on the design that we have created. So if we move the lightness, it goes to white. If we move it back, it goes to yellow. And if we take it further, it will start becoming dark. So we need to find a sweet spot. So we will keep it like this. And this is the accent color we want to go with this design. And that is actually the best part. Whatever changes you make, you will see everything in live and you will be able to select the right color. And here comes the best part. Let's say you want to change your entire color scheme. So you don't have to play around with all these colors that you have defined. All you need to do is just select your primary color and then you can change it from here. If you move it here, this is how it's going to look. As soon as we change the primary color, everything is getting updated in our color palette, which is reflecting in our design as well. So this is how we can use one single color and create all the global variables accordingly. And once we are done, we again just need to click on save and apply changes. So now once we have defined our color palette, let's see how we can implement on our design. So I'm going to start by adding a new section. We are going to choose a regular one and we will select a single column layout. Let's start by adding our heading. Then we are going to add our text. And let's go ahead and add our CTA button. So let's click on this heading. We go to design and in heading text, let's align this to center. Same goes for our text. We align this to center as well. And same goes for the button. Let's align this to center. And now we are going to use our global color palette to create the entire design. So first let's click on this row and we go to background and then we click on add background color and we are going to choose our primary color here. Or maybe we can go with some darker version like this. And then let's click on this heading. And again, we go to design for our heading text. We choose the color and we can choose the white that we have created. Let's click on this. Same goes with this text. We go to design and then we will choose the color as white. And now for the button, we click on this and we go to design and then click on custom style for button. And in the background, we are again going to click on add background and we are going to choose our ascent color like this. And again, we can play around with borders and border color and border width. But this is how we can use our global color palette to create the entire design. Now, in case you want to customize this color, let's click on this and we go to design. Now, let's say we want a little bit more lightness in this color. So we can click here and we can change the lightness from this. So this is how it's going to work. 
And if you want to make global changes, then of course we can go back to variable manager to make all the changes. Now here are the main uses of this new color system. Let me walk you through the top ways this system makes your design pop. Number one, defining color shades. Now if you love sleek, organized color palette, relative colors let you define shades like red 100 to red 900 with ease. You can adjust saturation and lightness to create full range and then use them for borders, shadows or backgrounds. It's perfect for design systems with names like primary or accent. You can complete with hover or alert state all tied with your brand color. Number two, all colors are global. Now in DB5, every color is global by default. No more digging through recent color chaos. Just set your palette in design variable manager and it's ready to roll site wide. It's just as fast to pick a color, but now it scales beautifully. Consistency, check. Time saved, double check. Number three, accessible and dark mode color variations. Accessibility and dark mode color just got easier. Start with your brand color or primary color and then Use relative colors to tweak saturation or lightness. Need better contrast or text? Just light it up. Want darker mode vibe? Just tone it down. Your colors stay on brand while meeting all standards. Number four, developer friendly but no coding required. Even if coding isn't your thing, this system got you covered. It's built on CSS custom property logic, but it's all visual. No need to type out HSL values or variables. It's a team-friendly, drag-and-drop dream that keeps everyone on same colorful page. And that's the scoop. DB5 Relative Color and HSL are live and ready to revolutionize your designs. Whether you're starting fresh site or just playing with colors, this feature is calling your name. DB5 is built for pros who want smart design systems and it's delivering big time. Give it a whirl and see the difference yourself. Go ahead and download DB5 Public Alpha today and see the difference yourself. So, if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.